Hey, what is up guys and welcome back so now you can see that we are totally done with the forum section okay we have now got the basic understanding of how forum works and how everything works okay so in this video we'll be working up with the the social networking website okay so i'm going to show you how the social networking website work how people can interact with each other how these people can just send notifications to each other and you can see how this notification oh sorry not notifications but the friend request so if i just open up this you can see um this guy techie packy has mentioned me in a comment that says uh, thank you so much tenziel and i'm just gonna go ahead i'm gonna hit favorite okay so if i just want to send the friend request to this how can i send it if I want to send a public message, not the private message, if I want to send a private message to him, how can I send the private message? Okay, so I have to make sure that I can do that and I want to do that. So we have to basically work with our site settings and then we can do that, okay? So let's get started. First of all, what we have to do is that we need to go to the dashboard. Let's open this up in a new tab to just work with it and also see the changes here that we are making. Um, so you can see um, this is a whole my profile right now. If I just go to profile, then you can see um, I have just my name. Okay, I can change it. I can change my name. I can change my profile photo as well. Okay, I can change uh, his this guy's profile photo. Okay, I, I, I have to just upload it and then that photo will be uploaded. So I'm just going to go to... Um, this right here. Okay, so uh, this is being uploaded right now. And you can see that now I have to crop this image. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm just going to crop this image. Okay. And I'm gonna hit crop image. So you can see um, this image is right here, uh, tag back, okay? So I have this cover right here. I can also change the cover image. And you can see this is exactly um, like Facebook. This is the Facebook style, or you can say basically it's a Twitter style. So I can just also add a cover photo as well. So you can see um, this is being uploaded. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit upload right now. And this will be here. So you can see your new cover image was successfully uploaded. And this is right here. So you can see um, if I just go to activity right now, and then here would be like um, Tanjila Raman changed their profile picture a few seconds ago. So anyone can see it, then they, they can just favorite it. They can just comment it. And something like that so um let's get started and let's just work with this so you guys have the basic experience with facebook i hope that you guys are on facebook facebook is the best social networking website i'm not just comparing it with them but still i'm just telling you that we are creating a social networking website where people can interact with each other they get social so this is what i mean okay so what we have to do is that we need to go to the buddy press in the settings tab. So you have to just hover your mouse here and then you have to hit buddy press. Buddy press is the plugin that we installed for the social networking. And the BB press was the plugin that we installed for forum. Okay. So this is how you can just differentiate them. So this is the buddy press. You can see um, it says extended profile, customize your community with fully editable profiles that allow users to describe themselves. Sure, I want that. And then I have the account settings. Allow users to modify their account and notification settings directly from within their profiles. Yes. Friend connections. Let your users make connections so they can track the activity of others and focus on the people they care about the most. This means that if anyone posts a comment and they are in the friends, he's going to he's gonna get a notification or he's going to get in the activity that this says that and this says that. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to activate that functionality, okay? I'm just going to come here. I am going to just select this and I'm going to hit save settings. Okay, so I'm just clicking this. You can see, um, then I just come here and I just refresh this member who is a tacky packy and he's tack back. Okay, so I'm j I can just add this, add him as a friend. Okay, so if I just click here, you can see um, the request would be sent. And I can also cancel the friendship request. So I'm the teacher and I'm sending my student a request. Okay, so um, I'm just going to come here and I'm going to refresh it. So uh, on refreshing, you can see that I also have a profile picture. Okay, and I also have this. You have a friend re uh, friendship request from Tenzil. So if this guy opens it up, he can just come here and then he is going to accept it. So you can see it says Tenzil viewing member. And I'm just going to hit accept and this guy is going to be accepted. So Tenzil is now the friend friend of uh, this tag pack. Okay, so this is what I mean. 
Um, I'm just going to come here and I'm going to add one more and that is the private messaging. Allow users to talk to each other directly and in private, not limited to one on one discussions. Messages can be seen between any number, sent between any number of numbers. So I'm just going to check this and I'm going to set it, save the settings. So this means that uh, we want to allow people to just talk to each other. So if this guy is, if I just come here and I just uh, go to the homepage, okay, this is the homepage. So then I come here and you can see it says uh, Tacky Packy accepted your friendship request. I'm going to say, oh my God, thank you. And I'm and here it is. So you can see Tacky Packy, um, view active member, cancel friendship. I can just view his profile as well. Okay, he's my active member and this is like this. So he has a say, he's saying, hey man, how are you? I'm just going to open his profile up. I'm going to see, okay, um, he's my friend. I can also cancel the friendship with him if 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 we got get a fight and we say okay you know what you we are not friends okay um I don't want you I don't need you and you just go to hell so I'm just gonna hit cancel friendship and the friendship is going to be canceled so uh, now we're not friends okay so <laughs> this is how it works and I can also just private message him and I'm just gonna uh, abuse him so I'm just gonna tell him send to so this is the send to this means that i have to just enter the username and this will be sent to them so i have just one uh, message right here okay and then i have the subject um we are not friends anymore okay so um now here i want to enter something so i'm i'm just gonna enter um i need a break okay okay <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, just now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit send message. So you can see um, this message is going to be sent to him. Message successfully sent. So um, you can see it. it is like this. We're not friends anymore. This is the message. This is the message subject. And then here it is. So this is basically kind of like an email based message. Like um, if, you, if, if you go to the Gmail right now and then we go up, you can see that Gmail, how Gmail works. Gmail works on that like this, okay? If I want to reply to anyone, like if I want to reply to this, I can just come here and I can reply to it. So then the person will reply. He'll just come here and then he will reply to it. So this is how this Gmail works. Okay, so this is kind of like a Gmail, not not just uh, same, but it is kind of like. So if if did someone uh, just come here and he's just here, um, he'll see this 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 right here. Uh, you Tanzil send you a new private message. I'm just gonna come here and it says we're not friends anymore. What what what? Why? Okay, so um, this guy's right here. So you can see conversation between Tanzil and this. So if, if this guy just go to the messages itself, then you can see in the message, it says from Tanzil, and the subject is this, and it says this there. So I can just unread it. I can make it the um, first message. Like, I can make it featured. featured. So it will be the first message that I have to always see, always reply, and something like that. So that's how it works. I also have the sent one. So I have sent to this, like, re, we're not friends anymore, what, why? So this is how it works, okay? I can even compose it. So if I just want it to be like this, and I can just add Tanzil. So I just want to add Tanzil, okay? I'm just going to add his username, okay? And, okay, um, add Tanzil. Or now here, I want to add, I miss you. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, here and now here I want to add the subject. So the subject is going to be hello. Okay, uh, I'm now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit send message. So you can see um, I've entered an invalid username. What? Okay, let me open the Tenzil's profile and then let's let let, let me just and send him a message. So I'm just gonna open up Tanzil's profile. I don't know why I cannot uh, just do it like that by entering the username, but I'm gonna hit private message. So now I'm gonna enter the subject. So subject is going to be, um, um, okay. So I'm I'm just saying I'm uh, go to hell, okay? And I just send him, uh, send a message. So um, this is right here and Message successfully sent. So if Tanzil will open up his account, his account, and he'll be like, uh, "Okay, my student is just saying me that," and I and now I'm 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 just gonna open his profile, and then I am going to 
basically okay let's just come here let's just hit read and you can see it's gonna take us to the read page I'm just gonna open this up gth okay So let's just uh, hit the subject. So we have to hit the subject to open up uh, the message. Hey, I just forgot how to just open up the message. So it says, um, okay, you are spam now. Okay, I'm, I, and now I'm gonna hit send reply. So you can see the reply is being sent. So this is how this works. I can make it any of the featured, I can make it like that. So this is how it works, okay? So now in the forum, you can see that if I just go to forums right here, then you can see forum topic started. So in my in my this, so you can see um, this was the topic that was started by me. So um, now I'm just gonna go to settings right now, and you can see that here is the settings, here is the email, and here will also be the profile profile activity. So you can see uh, send an email notice when a member joins, when a member mentioned, when this this this. So you can see this is how you can manage it pretty well. Uh, same like Facebook. In in Facebook, if you go to profile settings, and then you have to, these changes that you can make. So um, this is how it works. So now here, let's just come here and we have the activity streams um, activity is like um, Facebook so if you just go to Facebook home page okay if I just open this Facebook home page then you can see this is all the activity that is coming so this is all the activity that are like the pages that I have liked or some of the sponsored content here and if I just go down and I have uh, this the pages uh, so I all mostly get the pages that I like okay you can see none of the friends are have just posted a status or shared anything um, Let's go down till I find something. Okay, yes, this is the one. So if this, he's my friend, okay? Um, he's in my friend list. Okay, so this guy status is also coming. I can just like it. I can comment it or I can do anything. So this is how uh, the Facebook is working, okay? Same like that, the activity is working, okay? Uh, so if I just go to the pages right now and then I go to all pages. So I don't know why there's something itching in my nose. I uh, don't know why. Okay, so here in the activity, if I just open this up, um, then you can see here it is. So Here's everything. Uh, it says Techie Packy changed their profile picture. I'm, I'm going to say, okay, wow. I'm just going to favorite it. So it's going to uh, show the activity of everything that has, uh, that is coming to our website and what is. And it is also the status option right here. So I can just say, hello, everyone. I really like Denzil's classes. Okay, and I'm gonna hit post update. So uh, you can see um, this is right here. So this is right. Uh, okay, I'm just talking about myself. I really like the Zeal's glasses. Okay, so you can see this is how it works. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, just uh, close my tab so that no notifications comes up. Okay, so now we have the notifications. Notifications you guys already know about it. Uh, I think more than myself. So now I have the user group. So group allows user to organize themselves into specific public, private, or hidden sections with separate activity streams and member listing. What this means is that user, if 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 you just go to Facebook.com, okay. So um, then on clicking the Facebook.com, we have so many groups, okay. You guys already know about it. So um, if I just go to any of the group, I can just uh, move on. So. Like I have some of the groups, like if I am in this groups, okay? Like education, education, this is a group, okay? And here is the person who is the administrator. And then here are the people who are coming, here is everything related to um, the education. So I, if I, if I, if I want to give a test like here, I can just go there and I can just tell him that, tell them, ask, ask the people that when is the admission forms coming or something like that. So this is how it works, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna click here and now I'm gonna close this tab. So now you can see um, this is exactly the same as the group what it, what it says. So if if you want it to be allowed to just like users can just create groups and then you just check it out, okay? So it will just give them more accessibility. They can organize themselves into some criteria. Okay, and the last we have is the site tracking. Record activity for new posts and comments from your site. So you just have to select this as well. And then we have the BuddyPress core and we have the community members. Everything in a BuddyPress community revolves around its members, okay? I'm just gonna hit save settings right now. Okay, and everything has been changed. 
so now I'm going to go to um, the pages right now. And here in the pages, um, we have this member section. We have this activity section and we also have now a group section. So if I just open up the group section, you can see that I can create groups. OK, there were no groups found. OK, um, last active, nothing. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to create a new group um, since I have just two members in my um, that say is uh, what we say in my profile or in my social networking website. That is why I will only invite my friend who is tacky back tack back. OK, so I'm just going to enter my uh, group name and that will be um, web developers okay or, or just uh, create a new group for like uh, students of class um, 9b okay so here um, description you can enter your rules here about this uh, that, that group means so you can just like um, only students of the above mentioned class will be allowed to enter this group okay so since i'm creating the this group i am the admin okay i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to hit group uh, create group and continue OK, and here we go. You can see it says this. Uh, this is a private group only. Uh, you can see that there are the privacy options. So you can see public group. Any site member can join this group. No, we just want uh, the users who are like um, the students of class uh, 9B. They can also. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select this. This is a private group. This group will be listed in the groups directly in search results. Group, this group will be listed in the groups directly and in search results. This one. So this one I should be going up with because uh, group content and activity will be visible to the members of this group. So and then we have the group invitations, uh, which members of this group are allowed to invite others, all group members, uh, group admins and moderators only group admins only. So I'm just going to select group admins and moderators, obviously. And now I'm going to hit uh, next step. So it's going to take me to the next step. And there I have the forum. So um, create a discussion forum to allow members of this group to communicate in a structures bulletin board style fashion. Yes, I want this group to have a forum. OK, yes, I'm going to I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit next step and you can see that here we have the photo. So I just want to upload the photo, that profile photo that describes the 9B. So um, let's just upload this. OK, um, this will be right here. I think I have to crop it. Yes. OK, this is right here. I'm just going to hit crop image. And now I have to hit next step. So in the next step, I have to select the cover image. So this is also important. OK, um, I'm just going to hit this and I am going to upload this one. So uh, this is right being uploaded. And once it is, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit next step. And then we have the invite. So then we have to invite people. OK, uh, I'm just going to click here. And you can see that in the invite section, I have to once you have built a friend connections, you will be able to invite others to your group. Since I don't have anyone in my friend request, I just uh, basically remove tech tech back from my friend request. We just broke up. So that is why I cannot do that. So I'm just going to come here and I'm going to hit add friend. OK. And now here I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to finish this. So you can see um, this is the group. Uh, this is the title students of class 10B. And here is the forum, here's members, here's send invites, and here's everything. So you can see this is exactly same. Anybody can create the group, then they can just enter information. It's 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 gonna be shown to everybody. And now we have the group admins as well. So let's me just come here and just send a friendship to him so that I want to add him here to my social networking website. So uh, to, to my group. Here it is. You have a friendship request from Tanzil. I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to accept it. So uh, on accepting this, you can see um, he's in my friend request. So friend list, sorry. I'm just going to come here and I am going to go to groups. OK, and now I'm going to refresh this. So you can see in the groups, uh, this is right here. So um, now I'm going to refresh this and you can see that I am right here. I am just going to go ahead and I'm going to send invites. So in the send invites, I want to send invites to invitation to this guy. He, he, he must be in my friend, not he. He must be in my friend request, uh, friend list so that I can just 
um, send him invite. So you can see this is invite, this is invitation, and this is remove invite. Uh, if I just come here and I just go to home page, you can see um, I'm right here and the member is one, still one. Okay. The reason is that because uh, Tacky Pack hasn't uh, just accepted my friend request, or oh, sorry, uh, hasn't accepted the request of approval request for the form. Okay. Um, let me just refresh this. Okay. Let me just come here to send invites. Um, send invites. So you can see inv invitation has been sent. So if I just go to members, you can see nothing is here. I'm just going to go back and I'm I, and once I refresh this, you can see um, here would be two and it says uh, you have a new you have an invitation to the group students of class 10B. OK, I'm just going to see it. OK, um, this is like this. Today. This is the students of class 10B and one one member is right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, just accept it. So in the groups, you can see that I have. OK, let's just come here to memberships right now, not in invitation. So you can see that I have this group students of class 10B. I can even leave this group. Uh, it says the private group and it says it has two members. So I'm just going to come here and I am just going to open this group up. OK, and then here I am going to add in anything. So I'm just going to add. Um, I like this BB Buddy Press plugin. Okay, and now here I'm I am just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit post update. So you can see this is right here. The page didn't load, so this is Ajax is working already. So this is how it is working. I'm just gonna come here and I am going to just view my home for this uh, specific group. And you can see Tacky Packy is right here. If I just come here, we can see Tacky Packy accepted your friendship request is also coming. I'm just going to come here and I'm going to make it favorite. So um, that, uh, okay, this is, I am also enjoying. And I'm going to comment it. Same here. Okay. So I'm just going to hit post right now. So you can see the post will be here. So this is how it works. So you can see how it is looking. And if I just come here and I just go to the home page. You can see um, here it, it has Zeal commented on one of your updates. Okay, I'm just going to come here and I'm just going to open it up. So then you can see, uh, same here. I can even reply to um, him and I can just send him an emoji. So I'm just going to hit post. So you can see this emoji will turn into that. So, okay, it is not turning. So now you can see everything is totally up and running. Okay, we have now done the basic things of uh, this buddy press. Okay, we have now the basic understanding of how everything works. In the options, we're just gonna overview them and then we're gonna move forward. So, um, here we have the toolbar. Show the toolbar for logged out users. So, this is called the toolbar. If someone is not in our website, then do you wanna show the toolbar like um, here that says a login to our website or something like that? If you want to show it, just select it. And if you don't want to show it, just uncheck this and it will not be shown. Account deletion. Allow registered members to delete their own accounts. Yes, this is this is very important. If someone is registering, then he has the right to deactivate his account, obviously. Um, so you have to allow them. Then we have, uh, okay, if someone is a student, uh, then he should send an application and then his account will be deleted. So if you need some of the, some of the policy for that, then you have to uncheck this. It totally depends upon you. Uh, then we have the prof profile photo up uploads. Allow registered members to upload avatars. And then we have the cover image profile syncing. We have groups creation. Uh, enable groups creation for all users. Okay, this is important. You can just change it like group photo uploads, uh, group cover photo uploads. And then we have the blog and forum comments. So allow activity stream commenting on blog and forum post. Uh, this is this is important. Okay, uh, the, if someone is commenting on our website, or commenting on a blog, then in the activity, it, it should show. And then we have activity auto refresh, okay? So this means that um, if I am in the activity, okay, then it will auto refresh and everything will be coming up here and my website will be basically running in the background. So um, this is important, but if you have low servers or if you are using a free web hosting or something like that, then do not just check it because your server will be, will be down. So you can see um, now we are totally done with the buddy press. We're done with everything right here. And now we will be working up with the designing of the site, which is very important. And you guys are going to totally um, love it. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching this. And in the next video, we will be working up with the designing tab. So stay tuned and bye-bye.